Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy is a third-person action-adventure video game inspired by the mythology of ancient Egypt for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. The game was developed by Eurocom and published by THQ. In Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, the player falls into the role of a demigod named Sphinx and the undead corpse of Tut the Mummy, as I would call him because his name is long and I can't pronounce it. Sphinx's role is one of a brave warrior who battles fearsome monsters and relies on raw power to complete his tasks. Tut, also known as the Mummy, revolves around puzzle solving and logical thinking to outwit his foes. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy is not by no means a story-driven game. It's more focused on the gameplay and that's really what you're going to be expecting with this game so don't expect some grandiose story but it's still a pretty solid story nonetheless it's just nothing groundbreaking sphinx and the cursed mummy has a couple of silent protagonists and some cool looking characters sphinx himself is a determined warrior and prefers to let his actions do the talking sphinx doesn't go through a ton of character development in the narrative but as you're playing him, you want to see him get better. And when he starts to learn new tricks like double jumping or the ability to swim faster underwater, it's really kind of cool and you enjoy seeing his progression. Tut, on the other hand, is another silent protagonist, but instead of fighting, he is our cursed mummy and he prefers to do the puzzle solving. And there's a lot of puzzles. And what's cool about him is that you get to see him as a regular person before he becomes the mummy so that's very nice but once you're the mummy you're pretty much going to be puzzle solving however uh sphinx does do a little bit of puzzle solving so don't expect like a ton of action with him it is a nice tonal shift but i would have liked to see less puzzles gameplay wise this plays exactly like a legend of zelda game beat up enemies with your cool sword to progress, solve puzzles to progress, beat up the boss to increase your health, and despite this being a Zelda clone, it's still fun for the most part. My biggest problem would have to be the stupid camera. It's not the worst camera in the world, but it's very clunky and may cause you some cheap deaths. And for the most part, like the game is very big. It's a very big world, and you can get lost on your way to the next mission, so I would forgive you for using a cheat guide. Music-wise, this game is very nice. It's got an Egyptian theme to it, and I really like the music overall. My favorite would have to be the music that plays in the startup screen, as it's just a really nice song. And overall, it's top quality music. Graphics-wise, this is a damn good looking game especially for the time. The backgrounds look very solid and the character models look really nice. And the animation is very fluid, at least for the time. But there is an HD remaster of this on the Switch, but I was playing the PS2 version. And the game looks really good in HD. However, if you do get the game on the previous consoles, it still looks good. Overall, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy is a really good game. It's not amazing it does have its flaws but it's still a really well done game and i wouldn't mind replaying this someday in the future if you're looking to get your own copy it's very cheap i've seen it go for two dollars but it's it's definitely worth it this is definitely a really good game and i'm kind of surprised i didn't make a series after this especially with that open ending but anyways this game is very underrated and I do recommend you check it out at least once. And if you're not a fan of the clunky camera, then, I don't know, go play Breath of the Wild. Anyways, that is my review for Sphinx of the Curse Mummy. If you played this game, let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. And besides Zelda, let me know if there's anything similar to this. And I will see you next time. Big thanks to Stuffy Play, Warp Bait, and Neachan for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are awesome.